right now with my son, whatever my son wants to do or not even what he wants to do because he's too little, but anything to entertain my son. Like now, like on a day off, we go to the little park up here or like now that the carnival, we take him to the carnival. I mean, now, you know, with children, your life changes. You know, I understand that now. Like maybe I didn't a couple years ago. I mean, but now it's whatever my son wants to do. You know, anything that could be fun for him or possibly fun, you know, that's what we look for things to do. Like in the past, before my children, we would, me and my wife would maybe go some, maybe drive to Paris or spend time and like just see the country and go, go other places and see things on a day off. But now it's, you know, can't do that. And now, especially with the now another little baby, it's just trying to entertain the kids and just, you know, find time to relax too. No, it's kind of sad and lucky I guess that I ended up playing professional basketball because I always thought like basketball was what I was going to do like I never really thought too much outside like I said when I was in college I majored in uh, recreation and tourism and I had that idea if something would happen but like deep down I always knew like I'd be okay kind of with basketball which is I guess risky thinking because it's not you know not everybody does what what I do but it worked out and I can't say anything bad. Where I really like the Netherlands. Like, I mean, I like Belgium and I've lived here nine years, but I really like the Netherlands. It seems really clean and nice and very like, uh, I mean, I can't, it reminds me a little bit of home because they have, it just, it's easier, most everyone speaks English and it's easier to get around you know, I think, and just the language barrier sometimes is very difficult. But, you know, I there's two different ways of life, and there's the life in the United States and there's the life here, and you have, they're both completely different, but they're both good in their own ways. You know, here it's much more relaxed. People sit and have a coffee, have, have a beer, have wine, and just hang out for two hours and talk. We're at home in the States. You, you're angry if you're sitting somewhere for an hour. You want to get in and get out in 20 minutes and, you know, that's it. You know, you go out to eat, you're going out to eat, and you're going back home. You're not going out to, to do anything else. You know, I would be content on a desert island as long as there was something, I guess, like the, the, the trees and the water and the sand because... If you're on a desert island, you're eventually going to die on the island anyway. So if I can say, oh, I want my iPad, it'll, the battery will die in five hours. So five hours of angry birds and Facebook, that's not worth it. So, you know, you know, like I said, you'll eventually die on the island anyway. So why have fire for <laughs> a couple, couple days? Because for me, I'm not like cast away, you know, like the movie, I couldn't make a raft. I probably couldn't make fire. I would die in five days, so why carry carry some extra stuff? Holidays. I I really like beaches and like the ocean. Like that's like I would like to my next holiday, like a big holiday, I would like to go to Hawaii, like a place with a beach and just relax. That's my favorite kind of holiday. And like this past summer, I have a friend that lives in Kentucky. I visited him, and I went to Las Vegas and met some friends. But I, I, those don't count really as, like, holidays to me because it's kind of like if you're in Las Vegas, if anybody's ever been, that's not a holiday. It's stressful. You don't sleep. You're gambling and losing money. So that's, that's not a holiday. And then my friend in Kentucky, it's Kentucky. So that's not really a holiday either. I try to because now as I get older I have to be careful what I eat because I gain weight easy so I really try to I'm lucky my wife is a great cook and she's a very she's a health nut she's crazy she eats perfect you know she's eating and cooking the best vegetables fruits fish meat like good stuff and sometimes I'm like hey I just want to go to Pizza Hut or get some fries and you know I, I can't do that if she's making you know good food which is great so I really like, what? see, I'm, I'm not a picky eater. I pretty much eat 
everything. So like I, w- I would, my wife makes this like chicken pot pie thing that is really good from her from her menu. From that's my favorite thing I guess right now that she makes. But when I go home, I have to go eat McDonald's breakfast. I know you guys you guys don't have that here, but McDonald's breakfast is probably my favorite thing so when I go home like over Christmas or when I go home the first week I'm home I go like two times there but I guess overall my favorite food is breakfast food anyway so that's I could eat breakfast food every day and like in the states we have eggs pancakes bacon sausage hash browns that I can eat that breakfast lunch and dinner every day a dish I really hate I can I really don't hate Actually, yes, I hate it, and I'm going to say I don't even, uh, the, what do you call it, American or whatever that Belgians eat, the the meat, the the filet American, where it's the raw meat. I, I can honestly say I never tried it, but I just, I can't eat it. The one, and then there's one, if you get at the restaurant with the raw egg in the middle, I can't do it. And I'll try anything, I'll try anything, and I I haven't tried that. And that's, I can't do it. I, I mean, I've been for, like, I have, uh, I guess my dream car would be a a big, like, Maybach or Bentley, something like that. I don't really like fast sports cars. One, I'm too big and probably wouldn't fit in them. But I, I really like bigger, bigger, like, luxury cars like a big fancy SUV no I guess maybe my kids but (laughs) but yeah but no there's nothing I'm like I said I really don't have anything that's so so like special to me or whatever I'm because I would feel like if I did I always think worst case scenario with a lot of things so if I had something that really meant something a lot to me and then I lost it, then I would be devastated. So I'd rather just not have anything (laughs) that I really care about like that.